up, honey? A new game that is FTL meets Slay the Spire meets Isaac meets Virginia. She smokes a pack a day. Oh, wait, that's me. But anyway, it's called Cobalt Core. It's from Brace Yourself Games. You know them. They made Crypto the Necro Dancer, Phantom Brigade. I'm, I'm blanking, but that's mostly because my brain is glycogenless. What is the one that is in outer space? where you build the city and then you zoom in and then there's the factory and you build the factory around around you know what i'm talking about i know this is cobalt core not factorio not factorio not not satisfactory not minecraft you played it i know industries of titan thank you industries of titan there we go. They made that as well. Sorry, I, every time I alt-tab, oh, it makes my face freeze a little bit. But anyway, that's probably because we need to go on borderless full screen. It's an FTL-inspired deck builder. My wife played it yesterday. She told me it was great, so I will be playing it myself. But first, I will be trying to put myself into perhaps borderless full screen so that as a result, I can alt-tab without... Um, Causing myself to become an inanimate object. How does that sound? Let's get going. It came out on Steam yesterday, by the way. Cobalt Active Terminal version 3120. Put me back in. I was in charge. I was the guy in charge of changing the Cobalt Active Terminal to have Terminal Font instead of Ariel Sans Serif. Personality Core Patched. Encrypting Memory Bank. Brobolt really is a one-of-a-kind emote, huh? Hello. Hey, wake up. Uh, my head. Okay, good. Your vitals seem stable. What's happening? I had to wake you all up from cryosleep early. There wasn't enough time to fully restore your memories. My memories? I needed those, I assume. Sorry, I had no choice. The command terminal will only respond to meat-based life forms. There's a joke about barbecue in Ohio in there somewhere, but I just, I don't have it in me yet. I gotta warm up. And there's a ship off the bow powering up their weapons. Everyone to the bridge now. Me when I'm Timbaland producing a song with Justin Timberlake. Play cards to outwit your opponents. You draw five cards each turn. Now, you know what? I'm realizing perhaps I should be here. <clears throat> you get three en energy per turn. Use it or lose it. It doesn't last between turns. Attack your enemy with attack cards. Makes sense. We can do a basic shot. Let's smack them. You can always see what an enemy is planning to do. This enemy intends to attack you for one damage. Let's block their attack with some shield. You've still got one energy. Play the rest of this turn out yourself. You get a little multi-shot. Does two damage. One damage twice, I should say. A little basic shot. Or a shield surge. Seems unnecessary. Let's do a multi-shot then. Out of energy. It's time to hit end turn. Yikes, that's a big attack. Five damage incoming. You can use evade to dodge attacks. Play this card to gain one evade. Statuses are shown below your ship. Some have passive effects, others are used as resources. Evade is a status you use to move around. Spend one evade to dodge the shot. Okay. See you later. You've got the basics down? World's shortest tutorial in history? Holy. Draw shot. Attack and draw two cards. Block shot, attack and get one temporary shield, or scramble, gain two evade, lunge, instantly move two spaces to the right and attack. Okay, I'm a simple man. I think you pull a draw shot here. We'll follow it up with a, um, I'll use a basic shot and end my turn. Okay, all right. Well, me personally, I, we, I'd like to hit you. That would be nice. There's a couple of things you could do here, okay? You could, you could dodge yourself to the right, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dodge myself to the right. I recognize this puts us in enemy fire range, but it also puts us in their fire range. We hit one draw twice, and then we block shot, which gives us one temporary shield. So your, your attack basically fizzles. Now, what is this? You're going to apply a status effect to yourself and raise your shields. I'm afraid I can't let that happen. Enjoy a draw shot, a multi shot, and a, a basic shot. And then let me see what you got here. 
Adds one damage to all attacks, two extra shields. You're, you're done. I'm probably the best player of all time. Pick an artifact. Warp prep. Gain one shield and one evade on the first turn. And then pick a card. Now, you don't always need to add a card into your, into your deck. This is a Slay the Spire lesson that took me a long time to learn. Sometimes there's, there's subtraction via addition. Extra battery. Gain two energy. Exhaust. Attack and evade one. That seems okay. Adds two damage to all attacks. Decreases by one at the end of turn. But that costs two energy. I think an evasive shot. It's attack and evade. Okay, let's, let's take that. You want your deck to be tight. Exactly. Just need you to tighten it up. You know what I'm talking about? You remember um, Knocked Up? Tight. Or, or, or uh, better call it, uh, Breaking Bad? Maybe. I vaguely remember pushing a button, then the white light. Shut up, you have this argument every loop. I've heard it 517 times now. Let's get there and stop the time loop. Oh, wow, okay. Um, I'm a simple man. Let's learn some combat. Let's, let's take the combat path. Objects in the mid row are between you and the enemy ship and can block attacks. They are much weaker than a ship and will be destroyed if they're hit by anything at all. The enemy is going to launch an object. Be careful. We don't know what it is yet. Okay. I'm a simple man. I'm a simple man. I think we must... Um, we start with an evade. Let's move here. Do an evasive shot, which gives us a, another evasion. We don't know what it is. We don't know what it is. 2D space battles don't make sense. Listen, Diog Wiga, you of all people should be able to understand that this is an abstraction. They're staying in the same uh, position in the Z dimension, okay? They're staying at the same height. The gravity stabilizers of both ships have been locked by one another. And as a result, they are unable to, to move up and down, okay? They're on the same plane, exactly. Call me when you don't spend two hours a day on a stationary bike, by pedaling to go nowhere. Oh wait, that would mean you call me today, because where was where was your ass on our power zone rides today? Me and Moomin Rider and Nautical looking, looking, looking. Go ahead. I'm just I'm I'm waiting for it. Let me guess, I had real work to do. Okay, whatever. Must be nice. <laughs> Basic shot. Well, I think I would hit you. I got one evasion. I'm scared of what this object is. I've chosen to do that and end my turn. What is this? Attack drone. Shoots a two damage shot once per turn. Okay, well, we'll just, we'll, we'll move into position and we'll destroy those as they come out then. No sweat. Lunch. Instantly moves two to the right and attacks. We respect that. We do a draw shot. Multi-shot, I can see how that would be effective at taking the objects out now. I would like to move one to the left and then do a multi-shot, please. Because we discard our hand every turn anyway. The heck is this? Beams one shield at its target once per turn. Well, I'm not even sweating you, quite frankly. You move me to the right, that's not great. You move me to the left. Well, you move me to the left if you want to move me to the left. Put me, yeah, put me right here so we're not in, in their range. Give me a draw shot that does damage. Give me a draw shot that uh, we have no energy. Okay, pass turn. You are in their attack range? Mm, I don't think so. I think you might want to get a little measuring tape out there. So you're going to shield. That's this, we got to worry about you. We already have one evasion. We might just get stung here. We might have to accept getting a little bit stung. Or we could do three to the side. Basic shot, block shot. I don't have the energy. 
they have given themselves one shield. Like I care. I missed the part where that's my problem. How about attack? Move one to the left. multi shotcha. One energy remains. Shield surge, even though it's unnecessary. It's getting a little ridiculous here. We'll do a basic movement, a draw shot, and a lunge. Okay. I mean, we're, we're whittling bit by bit. It's just taking longer than I'd like. Now, this time I got to move to the freaking left. Me, when I'm the Democratic uh, primary winner, I don't know. The joke doesn't really make sense. What's going on with that this year anyway? I was trying to bail myself out. <laughs> if only that were true. Right, I should have said move to the center, and then I would have been me when I win the... Me when I'm a progressive who wins the Democratic nomination. That would have been way better. I was too focused on the mechanics of the game. I lost sight of myself. Let me get a... Let me get a multi-shot, please. End turn. I'm not sweating that laddie at all. It's an easy multi-shot, one of the easiest multi-shots of my entire life. Might as well throw out the uh, block shot, why not? At least it's doing some damage. Good one, Yahoo! Okay, you just blew up your own lad. Not what I would have done, but what do I know? How about a basic shot, an evasive shot, and a basic shot and pass turn? Now we need a big move here. Or I could just kill you. One move. One move. Multi-shot, you're dead. I'm the greatest player of all time. Quick thinking. Draw three cards. I love to draw. X is your shield. Okay, how do it? One second, I need some algebra on this one. One energy. X equals your shield. Evade X, shield equals zero. It converts all of your shields into evasion. Interesting idea. I would say not for me. Quick thinking can draw five cards or cost zero when upgraded. Evasive shot can either give you... Ooh. Oh, this gets exhaust. I see. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Upgrade paths, so true. Uh, converter B, costs three energy, but doesn't take your shield away. I'm thinking, I don't know, I just like quick thinking. I think it, cards where you draw are fun to play. This part is weak. It takes more damage from attacks. Understood, but there's a little bit of risk associated with that. I'm not sure if you've noticed. You do one damage. This part takes one more damage from all attacks. Great thing to hit with a multi-shot, but I think we gotta be, we gotta be sensible, you know? How about a block shot? A basic shot? I know you wanna line the cannons up with the weak point, but I don't wanna put ourselves in, in, at risk of this, man. Move me one to the side and play a shield surge, even though we don't keep it past turn. I mean, they're not even sending any shots down Main Street here. So I think you do a draw shot, a multi-shot, an evasive shot. Does your evade carry forward turn to turn? As if so, they're, they're never getting me. I'll tell you that much, you know, for free. No big scramble here. One free move. We move one to the left. We probably should have done a draw shot first, but that's okay. Im instantly move two spaces to the right. We won't be doing that. I mean, at, at this point, I'm just like, why would I take damage when I could just own you instead? I am waiting to draw the, the back shot card. It hasn't happened yet, though. Perhaps one day. But not today. <laughs> okay. I got w I, we need to draw a card that lets us move more. This is not where we want to be. 
Lunge instantly moves us. We still got one free move. And a shield. I mean, we could be going through this faster, but it's nice to not have to think about taking any damage at all. As long as we can just have some self-control. Block shot, basic shot, evasive shot, and turn. Nice time plant behind you. Excuse me. Don't insult me. This is a, it's a real spruce tree. Which is why I only have it here. When you could tell me if my cats are trying to eat the needles. Apparently needle, the pine needles are very toxic to cats. Spruce needles are only mildly toxic to cats, which means they might throw up if they eat a bunch. So during the night, I'm putting the tree up where the cats can't get it. But during the day, I'm keeping it here. So you gotta tell me if the cats start eating the leaves, okay? Or the needles. We need more moves. It is a great multi-shot though. Holy. If we play this, we won't be able to play a scramble. We should really just do an evasive shot. Move two to the side. I guess we should attack before doing two to the side because we were on their weak point. But you know what? We'll, we'll figure that out inch by inch, row by row. Why do cats eat the tree? I don't know. Probably because it smells nice to them. And, um, you know, they're from the animal kingdom where... Calories were probably scarce in their evolutionary history. By the way, get owned. Why do humans drink alcohol? You know, why do they eat uh, margarine? It's a freaking taste good, bro. We have even less excuses because we know that it's poison. <laughs> the cats, you know, their brain is the size of like, you know, a, a walnut. They're doing what they can. They need... They need our help. Add a wave beam to your hand. For two, get an attack that does two piercing damage. Gain one shield plus one for every time played this combat. Zero cost evasion. I kind of snooze on that. I'm kind of, let's go momentum. And then we can uh, use our draw to play momentum more often. And then maybe we turn it into like a heavyweight fight where we're trading shots instead of always evading. What brings you to Grandma's Bakery and Weapons Market? Gain one random upgraded card or remove a card. Upgraded rare card. <laughs> Gain one random upgraded rare. This is what sent me wrong in Slay the Spire so often. If you don't know deck builders, one random upgraded rare, you're like, oh my god, it's like this could be anything. This could be the this could be Mjolnir. And this one, you're like, remove a card. I like to play cards. Cards are how I like, you know, kill enemies. That being said, removing is obviously very important, but I mean, this could be Mjolnir, bro. Hand Cannon B. X equals cards in hand. Attack for 2X. That could be good. This is good, good for a kill shot at least. What is this? You're going to launch something? That's your cockpit. And you're going to attack me for one. Well, I have one shield. I end my turn. And then I... Kill you. <laughs> That's pretty good. Escalate. Adds one damage to all attacks. Scoot. Instantly move three spaces to the right. Gain two energy exhaust. I think extra battery makes sense given our uh, that we have a three energy cost card now. It's just my guess. Sharp edges. Every time your discard pile is shuffle shuffled back into your draw pile, the enemy loses one hull. Okay. Grandma gave me a nuke. You're not wrong. I, I mean, we could do a lot of. Oh no, never mind. We'll just we'll start with hand cannon B. And then we'll just move one to the left. Because you start with one evasion. What is this? The enemy is going to give you a card that can't be dodged. Get ready. Okay. How about extra battery? Draw shot? I have no damage. 
I have none damage. Just pure... Useless ass movement cards? Okay. Trash. Trash. Could have seen that one coming. Um, I mean, we have... We got enough shields to tank this. So, in my head, I'm like, we, we hit you with a multi-shot. We hit you with an evasive shot. We... Two spaces to the right and attack is not good. So we could move to the left. We need to move two spaces in order to... I mean, there's lots of things you could do. Maybe just... Oh, uh, you can't even afford that. I'm not gonna play this then. Could draw batteries gone? I mean, I guess we'll just play this for one energy to not have to use our evasion to actually avoid the attack seems nice. And then we'll just kill you this turn. Probably. Draw shot. Basic shot, basic shot, you're exploded. Sidestep. Retain. This card is not this card. They're giving us a new keyword every time. Move one space to the right and retain. It's not discarded at the end of turn. Multi-shot, power play. Adds one damage to all attacks. You lose one hull. Interesting. It's interesting. I skip. That's how you know I'm a real Slay the Spire gamer. <laughs> I'm like, wow, what a cool card. Maybe I'll find the perfect run to put that in, but I'm not adding it to this deck. Are you crazy? Start there. You're going to buff yourself, I'm assuming. Let's just gain extra shields so we can kind of tank this for now. I don't really want to move out of the way. I want to draw Hand Cannon B next turn and kill you. The enemy has gained a status. If fired on, we'll completely move out of the way left. Okay. So you, you caused the whiff. But that's totally fine. I would move back into range multi-shot you basic I guess I would basic dodge move twice and turn and then I would move once to the uh, but if I'm oh but no we're good we're good extra battery quick thinking I I all I needed was a card that could move me one to the left and we did not get it. <laughs> Instead, I'm playing, a, I'm playing a scramble, and I don't have enough energy for hand cannon B now. So I gotta move one like this, and then I guess give me a shield. Give me a draw just to see if I draw momentum. Oh! <laughs> you genius! And then you're dead. The man is so smart. Shield Surge, Juke. Instantly move three spaces randomly. Overpower, add two damage to all attacks. That's, that's a skip in my world. Howdy, how's it going? Oh, you know, same old. What's this, Loop 400 or something? Well, let's get you on your way. Can I get you anything? Please remove my basic um, block. Thank you so much. Boss, boss fight! My sensors are going crazy. Let's see, no warp core signatures within a light year. Switching sensors to visual spectrum. Big crystal. Moon's haunted, guys. Moon's haunted. It's so funny to think that Slay the Spire at no moment ever explains the lore at all, as far as I know. You literally just fight like a dude holding a stick, and then after that it's like, guess what? Big slime. And then after that, it's like uh, a, a sphere with a lot of shields. If you, if you click the relics, it kind of does. Come on. I've never, I've never watched this single map pad video. I don't know about all that. <sighs> Extra battery. Quick thinking. We owe it to ourselves to play hand cannon B. It's Mjolnir. And then... Uh, Two to the right. Scramble moves us two to the left. 
Even though we can't even play it anyway. Hmm, two to the right. I'm trying to visualize, which is a problem for me. We're going to take one hull damage here, which is not that bad. I'm going to play that, move one to the side, and end my turn. It's the best we can do, I think, given the circumstances. Big crystal. So true. How about a draw shot? Momentum. Move one to the right. And a block shot. That way we're taking none hull damage this turn. Two damage is not that bad. I like our positioning. How about a draw shot? I was hoping to get something in the way of shields. Maybe a quick thinking into a, into a momentum, meaning we take none damage this turn and momentum keeps getting stronger. Draw a shot. Momentum means we take none damage. Multi-shot means we're doing damage. He's, we got it all figured out, man. So far, so good. Now, this time, we got five damage coming in. It would be nice to move two to the left. Two to the right. Gotta think about that. Well, we're not generating two to the left unless we draw a scramble, which is possible. Let me think. Let's do quick thinking. We did get a scramble. Are we really going to go the long way? I have to move one, two, three. I have to move four. This is four. Oh, but then I can't play the lunge. All right. Sorry. I was, I was losing myself for a second there. I think we embrace tranquility here. We play a block shot and we play a shield surge. And then you just accept that you take one damage. Big whoop. And then you draw a hand cannon B at some point. We can tank that. I actually don't want to draw here because if I draw hand cannon B, it fizzles. And then hand cannon B. Hand cannon B, please? Is this a joke? Oh, it's exhausted. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. How about a lunge? Yeah, we don't have quite enough damage. And then a scramble. We're in three-piece territory and what we'll play? Oh no, that's fine. We'll, we'll take three. There is no hand cannon B. It's a name we've not heard in a long time. And we basically fully heal. Okay, so far so good. Corrosion beam. Kate, is this how far you beat on round one? Then why did I have the hand cannon B, Bart? Then why did I have the bowl? Or did you, is, are there three worlds, perhaps? That's my guess. Weaken hull. Three energy, attack for two, and weaken a part of the enemy ship. Corrosion beam deals one hull damage at the end of every turn. This status will be applied to the enemy wherever they are. Can, can anybody who watched Cobalt Core streams yesterday tell me, does this mean even if we are offset, and I'm not talking about Migos, this will hit? That is correct. Okay, interesting. Endless Magazine. Gain one chip shot at the start of every turn. So it's a shiv. For two energy, we get one attack every turn. I'll try Corrosion Beam. Pick an artifact. Every 10th time you draw a card, gain energy. Draw two cards every turn, but you are offered one less card in post-battle rewards. You can no longer skip card rewards. Shh. Gain one energy every turn. All non-parry attack cards deal one less, one less damage. I'm going to be a simple man and take the one that doesn't require me to know whose characters are whose. <laughs> Who's, whose cards are whose characters, I should say. Did the microscopic ones try to kill you? Not in a way I was able to perceive. Let's keep moving. Whoa! The new system is taking us through this lawless sector. 
Everyone should have their sidearms on them at all times in case we get boarded. Okay, what do you got there? You have one damage to all attacks. It's kind of nasty with it, but just by playing this, we have enough shields. You got to be careful because we don't want to accidentally draw a hand cannon B without enough energy to play it. So I, there might be, I'd, I'd have to look at the actual combinatorics for this, okay? I think it's not sensible to play this right now. Unless you also drew the energy card, which would be crazy. But I think instead, we choose to tank some damage. We could bank evasion, but I'm just going to go straight. Oh, but this adds one damage to all attacks. I'm going to accept taking one hull damage and try to kill you quick. Hand cannon B does eight damage. We're about to get hit in the face, though. One, two, you have, ten. okay, so you have 12. Well, I think you play hand cannon B for max value, then extra battery. Now you play everything else. And we're still gonna take two, I think. We took one. I guess the, the power drive is already factored in here. Okay, noted, noted. It drains one hull damage at the end of every turn. So the question I have, and we just gotta figure it out, the question is when does that apply? Because if it, if it applies between my attacks and their attacks, then we only need to do one hull damage to them, which I still don't think we can do. It's after they shoot. All right, we got to simmer on that one then. Let me think about this. If I move two, I think we could do this. Hit you. Now we need this. We still need to move two, or we could just kill you. But we can't, in all likelihood, we can't do that. Play this. Use two of them to move out of the way. What killed them? <laughs> Acid cannon. Two damage. Corrode. Deals one. Okay, so that doesn't hit necessarily. Embarrassment. Maybe my artifact killed him? Oh! Every time your discard pile is shuffled, the enemy loses one hull. So true. I'm going Acid Cannon B, bro. The B cannons have not steered us wrong. This must be elites. I, I want upgrades and removal, okay? Repair seven hull, remove a card, upgrade a card. I'm a simple man. Please remove basic shots from my deck. This part has armor. It takes less damage from attacks. Okay, you're doing two. Two doesn't scare me. Hand cannon B, great start, don't get me wrong. There's a part of me that thinks it's a great time to get corrosion beam on him. And then play momentum, tank the damage, i.e. we take zero. We got some damage over time on them. You can only play it once, so you might as well play it. This missile is going to do two damage. Okay, start here, move one to the left, multi-shot, quick thinking, acid cannon, now you got two corrosion, I'm familiar, it's e this is an easy game to slip into, like I, it's basically, it's slay the spire plus movement, basically. The FTL stuff maybe is, is a little overstated with where we're at right now, but it's basically is slay the spire with sliding. Slide the spire. I'll play a, a basic shot. Or a basic evade, sorry. <laughs> Which allows me to then... Probably you would never do a basic shot if you could do a block shot instead. Let's just make good habits. Now, missile. Not necessarily scary. I, I don't want to hit you in the armored piece, though, if possible. I, 
I still don't, I don't think it's the right time for hand cannon B. I think it's the right time for, you're gonna do two damage. Quick thinking. Multi-shot. We got three energy left, holy cow. Multi-shot. Momentum. Now we can tank this, everything else we play is free. Might as well just do a little extra damage. I'm saving the hand. I want the hand cannon to be like a... Wait, wait, what? Hit me for two! I'm stupid! Oh, two from the missile and two from... Of course, of course. You gotta open with the draw shot here. Lunge moves us two to the right. We need like an evasive... You gotta get out of the missile range. Probably accept that you're gonna take one hull damage. Evade me, move to the right. Block shot, we take one. And then you're gonna die this turn. All I need to do is play anything. Eat this hand cannon B. <laughs> Weaken hull. It's a little expensive. Whiplash A. Instantly move two to the left, attack for two, then move one to the right. Now that's... That's the kind of thing that interests me. I actually, can I look at my deck real quick? What is that symbol on the bottom of the card? Flippable. Whoa! You can control click on it to flip the direction of its attack. Interesting. Hello again. Let me guess, you're gonna remove a basic? You got it, sister. <laughs> I am, what can I say? I am who I am. Watch out, if this attack hits you, it'll also give you a card. There's no ship part here, it's empty. Shots fired here will miss. Understandable, have a nice day. If this, if, if it hits, does, I imagine that getting a, a block still counts as a hit. That's my expectation. In which case, correct, it's a status. In which case, I don't really care about evading because it's not like we're going to evade all the way out. So we might as well, oh, but that's not going to hit. We got to hit you with the beam instead. Otherwise, this is going to miss unless maybe we move one to the side. But then that would mill an evasion point out of us. Okay, well, yeah, which might be fine because it does do the two damage. But what do we care about, the corrosion or the damage? The corrosion beam will hit no matter what. But then block shot. Yeah, we should move one. Acid cannon. Then we can play the block shot for value, because we'll at least block the damage, even if we eat the trash. Minus one energy on draw. I gotta think about this. If we draw three cards, we'll get one energy. So let's play extra battery. Let's play draw, let's, let's play draw shot. Or we just wanna move to the right first. We just move out of your way. It's not as out of the way as I want to be, but that's fine. Draw shot me. And then more draw, no more draw. Or no, did we get the extra energy? We did not, okay. Maybe I got it backwards, because this is gonna be... It was, I thought it was counting down, it's counting up, okay. Understandable, have a good day. Let me get a scramble. No, 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 think, think it through. You do one damage. Let me get a multi-shot, a scramble, and then move once. We tanked the one damage and we didn't want to attack last because we would have hit air. We, we already got our extra energy, I understand. I should have played this so it exhausted. This will do eight damage. Two to, the, two to the left, attack for two, one to the right. 
or two to the right. Hey! Two to the right, attack for two, one to the left. Then, just play it, like there's no reason not to. Momentum me, quick thinking me. Play the oxygen leak, get it out of your hand. Okay, that's fine. Two to the left, two attack, one to the right. That seems fine. You're hitting me for one. I have none shields. We can change that. Can I kill you? Corrosion beam will not kill you, so don't be stupid. Lunge will hit. And you know what? We could just do this. Lunge me. Wait, but draw shot gives us extra energy. Uh, it's like a free card. Because you count up and then we... Oh, but then we drew oxygen leak. You screwed me, man. <laughs> well, lunge means we take one. I can live with it. We're definitely going to kill you next turn. Let me get a hand cannon, please. Get, get out of my face, buddy. Get out of my face. What, what are you doing? It cannot miss. Well, it, in that case, I just got to play my mind. I don't think I could do the, I don't think I could do the necessary damage to you, honestly. This time you're toast after, at the end of your attack. Okay, that's fine. Add two wave beams to your pile. Whiplash B? These are upgraded cards. Holy. Instantly move two spaces to the left and get one temporary shield. Two, I mean, I like Whiplash. Both the movie and the card. Do we want a stun calibrator? After your first attack, gain a stun charge. Cancels the intent of the targeted ship part? Yeah? Yeah, that sounds right. So our second attack of every turn, if we attack twice, will stun a part. Just one more thing to worry about. <laughs> Watch out, if this attack hits you, it'll apply a status. Understandable. So let me think about this for a second. If I draw, if I do draw a shot, and then whiplash, I have an idea. <laughs> I could cancel your intent, which seems good, but I'll still have to worry about this, but we start with one shield. So check this out, okay? Draw a shot. Draw two cards. Evasive shot. It, it, they all come with stun. This will do three damage and stun that part, which is very nice. Now we're probably going to get hit by this part. Not necessarily. I mean, we, the easy play, I guess, is you just play momentum to build it up for the future and end turn. Although we would have gotten extra energy if we, uh, we get it this turn instead. That's probably fine. Okay, you're about to do two damage. If I do two attacks, there's going to be a stun incoming. Just think about this. Extra battery. We have no more draw cards. It's still good. We got expensive cards. Two to the, two to the left. Attack. Two. As you probably start with Acid Cannon. No, maybe not. Two, one to the right. I'd like to be out of your face. I think we start here. This will break the missile. And then this will do damage and stun. Which stops you from doing anything. And then a corrosion beam doubles the damage you're taking from corrosion every turn we move out of the way. Am I a genius? The world may never know. There's no hand cannon B coming this time. But we can at least multi-shot. Which stunned you and then we can do whatever we please probably a block shot and one free shield okay this is a homing missile easiest way to get around it is probably just play shields
We had two whiplashes. <laughs> Hang on here. It would be nice to stun this. Two... Th Maybe we could just kill you this turn. Is this one can't be flipped. That's unfortunate. So we have to play this one first. Play this one flipped. And then this one is two to the left and then do three attack and stun. The fact that this can't be flipped is really, it's causing me some problems. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're eight away from redrawing. I think we're just gonna take some damage on this turn. Unless, I mean, you are gonna die. Because the, the problem is we have, uh, maybe there was a mistake. Because I'm like, we could have evaded, move, if we quick thought, evaded, move one to the right, then Whiplash B would have killed you. Maybe not, I don't know. Move, the problem with Whiplash B, because we can't flip it, is that it can't move. Am I missing something? You, yeah, you're missing something. Whiplash doesn't kill because it moves two to the left. Shoots and then moves one to the right. We evade this, but we still get hit by the missile. Flip it. It doesn't flip, motherfucker! <laughs> this one doesn't flip! So I think we accept one hull damage. And then you're just going to die anyway. Or like they're going to die anyway, I should say. I mean, it's just that there could have been more perfect. I think that we made the mistake earlier, though. Convert all shields to evade. Button mash. Block up to three incoming damage. Cap by max shield. Move three spaces to the left. Gain one evade. I think more acid cannons is nice, man. We're kind of, we're specking into a build here. Okay, big crystal. Turn one, as many acid cannons as possible would go crazy. We can only play one. That's fine. Two to the, two to the left. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work for me. I could. Well, let me think. I move one here, two to the left. But this is air. Ah, okay. I think it's like this. Let me. I got a. I got a rubber duck debug it in my head. Okay. Evade one to the right. Acid cannon. Play whiplash. It'll hit and stun your attack. And then leave us right where we started, where we will take no damage. One to the right, acid cannon, whiplash B, complete safety. Eight shuffle, eight, eight draws away from extra energy. I told you I could do it. <laughs> It would be nice to play a Corrosion Beam and get out of town. Let's start there. Take the extra energy. Lunge will miss. I think I accept that as part of the cost of doing business. This blocks everything and we bank one basic dodge for the future. I'm not gonna move, just to move. Why are you talking about Virginia in the stream title? Some of you don't know Train's first number seven hit on the Billboard Hot 200, okay? It's, it's a riff on my very common stream title, which is like when I play a new game, it's blank means meets blank. So we did FTL meets Slay the Spire meets Isaac. That's where the joke starts. That's where your brain should be going, oh, this is probably like a little bit humorous. And then meets Virginia, which is a reference to the 1999 song, Meet Virginia from Train. It's their second most popular song of, well, it's probably their third most popular song of three, but still. I really don't understand it. Some of you guys are pretty cool. Do not go to a stand-up comedy show. You're, gonna, you're not gonna understand what's going on. It's just a hundred people in a, in a smoky room, the smell of wine and cheap perfume, watching a guy on the stage tell lies, talk about things that didn't happen as if they happened. It's not your medium of choice. Stick to Bob's Burgers, okay? Now, give me a second here. I gotta think. I'd rather, honestly, 
in my heart of hearts, I would rather just block one damage than, than bother moving around too much here. So I think the simple play is you play quick thinking for free because we get the extra energy. We could play hand cannon, but we can't play hand cannon without taking one extra hull damage because we have to move to either the left or right. We would obviously move to the right. That would put us in range of two. We would use all our energy. It would do 12 damage. You have 15 remaining. I'd ra Me personally, I'd just rather not take hull damage because it's hard to recover from it. I would rather like move once, do damage. Oh, it would have, no, it wouldn't have stunned you. We wouldn't have had the, well, maybe with the multi, I'd have to think about it, but I would gain, we don't really need to gain one shield now that I think about it. We could instead just play a multi shot and then an evasive shot and bank the evasion. Okay. Two damage coming in. We're tinkering. You don't heal in between battles. You you heal after you uh, you heal a little bit after you beat the boss. I just got another threatening email from Jimmy. Be careful. I was actually gonna mention this. Okay, I got I did open up my email inbox today. I had an email from uh, yet again sender name Jimmy. It's not Jimbo Wales at Wikimedia Foundation or whatever. It's just from Jimmy. We haven't heard from you in a while, dot, dot, dot. Picture of him smiling. Then it says, I won't be sending this email again. <laughs> oh, man. He's, these are some high pressure uh, sales techniques, man. Techniques, man. Oh, look, this is Jimmy signing off. I won't be sending another email. Holy. I do like Wikipedia though, so it puts me in a rough spot. Hang on, you're five away. I would move one to the right. And then play Acid Cannon one. And then move one to the left and we tank the shield damage. And you're, you're in for a world of hurt, my friend. You are in for a world of hurt, probably. I need to do three damage to you. We have four energy. Well, we have to move. That's a given. Let me think, okay, I think it's, <laughs> you move two to the right, whiff, and then you're here, and then you move two to the left, whiff. No, no, you can't do it that way. You gotta do a draw shot, and let's see what we're doing. You need a draw shot into some other evasion, because we don't have the evasion to move where we need to go here. So you whiff on the shot. We got none evasion. That's so unfortunate. So I'm like, at the very least, we could get out of the way of this, but I don't think we can put ourselves in a position to hit. I guess we just choose not to take damage instead, which is also completely fine. All right, sure, end turn. You just play your shields instead. Vamoose. Instantly move three spaces in a random direction. And then get four of eight. Holy. Lunge B. Two to the right, shoot twice. Boost capacitors. Max shield is raised by one for rest of combat. Gain two shield. Lunge B looks pretty good. I do like a lunge B on this one. Permanently gain two max shield. At the start of combat, gain temp shield equal to your missing hull. That's kind of, it's, oh, it's only for one turn though. You may remove two cards that repair yards. Oh, holy brother. Howdy, can I get you anything? Remove two cards. Let me remove a basic dodge, please. And I will also remove I will remove a block shot and then fight the boss. 
Hello? Oh boy, what is it? Put it on screen so we can all see. Hey, it's you. I used to be so soft. This should be easy. What? What? This part is concussible. Any part that, any shot that hits here will cancel this part's intent this turn. Three cards away from getting extra energy. I, I like what I see here, okay? Ooh, and the music! Extra battery, quick thinking. Now we have five energy. It's a heavy Andros has ordered us to take you down sort of moment here. Obviously we're gonna... I would like to concuss you, don't get me wrong. But I also like to not take damage. And we, I think we need, without a doubt, you want corrosion. Positionally speaking, I would rather just pop up shields this turn. Okay, that's that's doable. We start with the acid cannon. Whiplash would go yunk, pew, dunk. And it would stun you and leave us with, okay, I think that's fine then. The stun there means we're taking two damage, which is not a big deal at all. And you could play momentum or shield surge. Do we even need to play? Maybe we just look at this for a second, because Whiplash A. They're really ripping up that piano, too. Let me think about this. You can move two to the right, attack, and then move one to the left. I guess that would be better. It gets you out of range of the left attack. And then we can choose what to play. We would not play a lunge. We would probably play momentum because it gets stronger over time. Okay. You're gonna launch something. Three damage incoming. You're not close. My two cents, I'm a simple kind of man. I think you embrace. We're not gonna get a stun anyway. Oh, we do have one evasion. I could stun you. Okay, hang on. Move me once. Draw me. And I would take the extra corrosion damage. I think we need it on you as soon as possible. And now we're taking zero. Look at that. Eight away from extra energy. We already got some. Okay, the missiles are a bit of an issue. <laughs> I am going to lower the volume just a little bit, though. Not because it's bad music, it's actually too good. It's harder to focus. You may disagree. I think there's some non-negotiability in this world. Every extra point of corrosion is extremely valuable, and then I think we just tank the shots. We take two hull damage. It's more than I would have liked. I like this though. We're three away from drawing. Give me, give me a draw shot into a card that draws more shots. No, 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 it's okay. I will stun you so you don't do two damage to me with an acid cannon shot. And then that's that's that. I mean you're taking four hull damage per turn, brother. You're in it's it's a world of hurt. Hand cannon, you got eight and three. It's not quite enough. Could at least lunge, breaks a missile and sets up a stun, which also does damage and adds corrosion and then moment. Oh, dude, wait, you're done, you're done, you're done. I've played too much of the silent for you to have any chance to stop me. It's that simple. We get extra energy. It's a free attack. We need to do six damage to you if possible. That's two. That's two. That's two. We need four energy to do it, though. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I think. Quick think. What are you drawing here? Nothing. Well, let me think. Of, hang on. We could also just put up three shield and end our turn, I guess. That's a good point. It's easy enough. Well, there goes our dream of stopping that, solving that mystery. 
Corrosion Beam A. One damage for one guaranteed corrosion. Stun source, gain one stun charge every turn. Could I, It's tough to position ourselves. We don't have enough evasion to reliably p position ourselves. Your shield is X. You get X overdrive, extra damage to all attacks, and then you get zero shield. I think you go, you just, it's very simple. You go corrosion beam A. Every time you gain any shield, gain temp shield. We're limited by our max capacity though. If you end your turn with more than zero energy, your wings will retract and become empty until your next turn starts. It gets the, the executive functioning in your prefrontal cortex kind of working, doesn't it? You retract your wings. So we would become like three wide instead of five wide. Gain one extra energy every turn. Add a trash to your draw pile every two turns. I'm, I sleep on that personally. Wings on a spaceship. DL Guiga, what if you don't want to bother carrying uh, a second ship inside of your vessel, okay? Yeah, I know there's no air in outer space, but you might travel to a planet that has a, an atmosphere similar to Earth's where wings would be very important to generate lift, okay? Not everything, listen, you gotta think about how many trillions of dollars it would cost for you to build an intergalactic carrier that also has a hangar inside of it with ships built for Earth-like atmospheres, okay? I think this is too much for me. <laughs> Although, dude, being... Usually I'll pay like one energy to get extra shields. We could save one energy and then get smaller, which makes it a lot easier to dodge attacks. Honestly, it's just more interesting. Let's, let's try it. It's good that they all care for each other, but I'm here to play cards, Buster. I get it. Entering new zone, three question marks. This is where the ship has been taking us. It's the same, appear to be energy resources, but I've never seen anything like this on Oith. We find the energy crystals, we'll find Dr. Wawi. I know what you're talking about. It's been a long time. What you think, I sold them all? I'm thinking. Dunky dunk, dunk, dunky dunky dunk. You have one power drive. You have selected power drive. You're four away from getting, okay, I understand. I mean, I think it would be nice to play a shield. I think I'm a simple kind of guy. We could also, s no, we can't really stun that part. I think, it's just, I think it's simple. You play momentum so you don't take damage. And then you drop. We don't want to use this whiplash. Even flipped, it like misses. This way, it puts us in range of too much damage and it doesn't stun anything. So we use acid cannon and uh, pass turn. Now what is this? You're gonna apply a status to yourself. Shield Surge generates enough for us. We already have, we already got the extra energy. That being said, I would still play a draw shot. Hand Cannon B does do a lot of damage, but then we would take two, and I refuse to take two. This is not Grand Theft Auto 6, okay? I could, you're right. This is a good opportunity to maybe drop one of these move one to the left and then retract my freaking wings. Ooh! <laughs> Very clever, okay. Well. Two lunges probably gets us pretty close to being out of the range. So let's start with that. Actually, let's start with an evasive shot. 
Then the second lunge will stun this section, so we only have to deal, and then we don't even have to spend. We don't. We could literally just save one energy by doing this. Extra battery, corrosion beam, end turn with one energy simmering means that we get a free dodge, and we got the corrosion on them. Holy, <laughs> holy! We're cooking with with a variety of different ingredients here. Now you're doing six damage to me, it's not ideal. We can move two, attack for three, and then move one. I would rather do this, at, watch this. Multi-shot me. Oh, that multi-shot took the stun. It's actually not that bad, but I was ready to play Whiplash B to smoke you. We're several away. I mean, we'll just move one to the right, probably. And then hit you with an acid cannon. And then, I mean, I'll just gain two shield for sport, I guess. This is free. How can it be? 12 damage, you've got eight left. Eat this Wemby. Draw shop B. Options A, ooh. One energy gives you two evade and draw two next turn. I kind of, I'm, I'm liking the options A, you gotta keep your options open. This is like Pot of Greed meets like a new pair of sneakers or something like that. Attack draw, attack for two draw two is good too, but I think that's, that's a great card. I would like to fight both elites if possible. I'm feeling that confident. A minefield is up ahead. Let's stop and look for cool stuff. Grab the first thing you find, lose one HP, gain an artifact, or lose three HP, gain one of four artifacts. <laughs> How could I not? Gain one energy every time you spend three plus energy playing a card. This is crazy, man, because you could play hand cannon and then get one energy back, which could use, you could use the energy to play another card or you could retract your wings. At the start of combat, gain a glissade. Isn't that what they call hot dogs in Louisiana? Instantly move two spaces to the right. Retain, flippable, but exhaust, right? That's what the purple means, exhaust. I'm not sure if that's enough for me. On pickup, your missile bay gains armor. I don't know if I even have one of those. <laughs> Permanently gain plus three max hull and heal three on pickup. So this is like neutral, okay? This is basically like, we. Th this is our base case. I think I like energy refund, personally. I'm willing to give it a try. It makes it a lot easier to play hand cannon B. You're about to do three damage. I think you just play this. We get one energy back. And then a shield surge keeps us in the game. It's a funny looking ship, no doubt about that. Can't flip you, huh? Fear card? The heck am I supposed to do with this? Retain? Okay, we got extra energy. Ideally, I would drop a stun on you. I can move one. Whiplash A. That seems good to me. We'll start with like Corrosion Beam. Move one. Corrosion Beam does not count as an attack. Have you noticed this? Many people are saying this. Draw Shot then. Move one. Whiplash right here. <gasps> it's empty. <laughs> it's empty, bro. 
That was supposed to stun, but that's an empty space. How, how can they shoot out of an empty space? It doesn't make any sense. I know, I put myself right into the attack. You know what we do? Option. Oh, but then we won't have energy. <laughs> I was like, options A, and then save one energy to retract wings, but we won't, we won't have the energy. I still think we want options A, and then unfortunately we just eat the three damage. Hello, Jay, by the way. Hello. All right, that was a turn where it probably would have been better to just do nothing. I just didn't realize this was empty. It's my own fault, I'll admit, as much as I hate to. Sure. Sure. So there will be no stunning coming in. This is a tough one, actually. I think we just got to put out some damage. Acid cannon. Acid cannon. Extra battery. Evasive shot. Move one to the left, save an energy to retract your wings. Five cards till we get another one. I mean, you're, you're done. You're, you're done. What about the stun? Well, it only stuns the part that you hit with the attack. And you can't hit the part that's attacking because it's empty. So we're... It is what it is. I mean, the easy play is just like options. Move two. Save one energy. Both of their attacks fizzle. That's pretty solid. You're gonna die this turn anyway. All right. This is an elegant finish, an elegant walk, but it would have been nice to not take so much damage. What the heck is barrage, bro? BM. <laughs> barrage. One attack, one to the right. Three attack, one to the right, one attack. It is interesting. Panic moves randomly and then attacks for zero. But with overcharge, that could be good. Or whatever it's called, overpower. Or lunge A. Honestly, I'm a skip on this one. I'm, I'm simply a skip. This is not a place of honor. No highly esteemed deed is commemorated here. They feared their own creation to seal it away for eons. Well, let's start fighting it. Walled. You are walled in. An elegant wall. Buried relic. Okay, this seems like a puzzle fight, which is it's the scariest thing of all. Start with a draw shot. Ah! <laughs> I could at least stun you. It's non-flippable. Corrosion is, is too strong to ignore. But like one of these moves us two to the right, attack. It stuns you. We save one energy. We don't... Ah, but we still... I mean, what, what, what's, what's going on with these, man? Oh, they're walking. They're walking. I see. Walking, I can't. As they say. I'm a simple man. You simply have to put corrosion damage out there. Or maybe you don't. No, you do. Maybe you don't. I'm thinking. And I'm thinking I might keep my options open. Save one energy. We don't have to save one energy and miss the shot. We could instead just it does it's the functionally the same situation. This looks cooler though. Okay, this uh, and the wall. Okay, this might be fine. Hand cannon gives you a refund. We also already have four energy. This is twelve damage. I, I can't imagine a situation where you wouldn't play this, especially with extra battery in hand. Uh, 
Now, problem is I'd really like to stun this. So to move two to the right and then issue a stun and then one to the left would go crazy. Beautiful. Now you could save one energy or you could go two to the left. My, my concern is like going two to the left. Dude, are we gonna take damage if we hit the wall? <laughs> Mid row objects shifted into the wall are destroyed, okay. What, it, it, you are walled in. Mid row objects, multi-shot stuns. Stun, the stun's already been used, unfortunately. With three energy, we could save one. I'm just worried about the whiplash hitting the wall, but whatever, they don't care. One energy misses the shot. I'd rather play momentum for one energy though. Because it, it, uh, it grows over time. And then we just kill you. This is like a lot easier than I expected, quite frankly. Whenever this ship attacks, it gains a temporary shield. Another momentum or rev the engines. Hermes boots! <laughs> Wherever you move, move too farther. Lose this at the end of your turn. That's a skip in my world, but I appreciate that it's interesting. Every time an enemy, every time an attack misses the enemy by one space, the enemy takes one damage. The first time you lose hull each turn, gain overdrive. If you end your turn with more than zero energy, gain one shield. Oh! <laughs> In this house, we call that value because we're oftentimes ending with one energy anyway to retract our wings. Oh, baby. Mom, there's a synergy! Same situation. Hand cannon B because you get a refund on your energy. Extra battery. Multi-shot. I think you shield surge, move one. Force you to miss. This is gonna give you a card wherever you are. Okay, so we're like rushing them down now. Understandable, have a good day. We would like, to, uh, we're not gonna, unless we could stun you. Let me, let me think about that. You have armor on you as well. I, we could obviously play two corrosion, but I also wanna play like one attack that actually lands a good stun. Two to the left, attack, one to the right. I don't really wanna attack the armor if possible. Like I'd rather stun this so I don't get two pieces of trash, but we might be, we might be stuck on that one. Wait, 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 two. Two to the right, one to the left. Two to the right, attack, one to the right. Two to the, <laughs> two to the left, one attack. Two to the left, two attack, one to the right. Two to the right, two attacks. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start there, lunge B. It's, we stunned you, we're gonna get one trash anyway. There's nothing we could do about that. Acid cannon to get some corrosion on you past turn. We save one energy, we don't get hit by anything. This is a beautiful place to be. We're several cards away, but if we draw quick thinking, we get extra energy. So start here. Unplayable, who cares? We got our energy refund. We still got two energy remaining. We can play one a one energy card without sweating anything. Just thinking of the best one. I mean, options A is pretty nice. They're taking chip damage every turn anyway. Now in this one, we just like to drop some stuff on you. This is your best shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. The quick thinking is free. And you took extra hull damage just from that. And you're not doing any damage this turn. Well, I think we just ruin your life then. We draw something like that on you. And then, I mean, we could just drop two damage on you. Preferably not on an armored position. 
We're gonna get a bunch of trash in hand, who cares? I know you had armor, but I still thought that was gonna kill you. I guess you had one shield. All right, whatever, who cares? Get exploded. <laughs> shield surge B, one shield capacity, two temp shield. Escalate, it's not part of our build. Shield capa Max shield capacity is lowered by two, gain six temp shield. I'm, I'm a skip on that one, that's not for me. First time you lose hull damage each turn, gain one overdrive, interesting. I go straight for the next elite, doesn't bother me in the slightest. This enemy is going to corrode itself. Well, if we, if we save one energy, we don't get hit by this, which is nice. You take extra damage here, okay. Well, we're definitely not gonna move two to the left. It would be nice. We could just stun that instead. Can we land like a, a basic attack? <gasps> I forgot lunge moves us immediately. <laughs> it's okay. It's, I mean, it's suboptimal, but fine. One to the left. Two to the right, one, one. Yeah, one to the left. Corrosion beam. End turn, no big deal. We get extra energy because, or extra shield because we saved energy too. Okay, now you've got a lot of, the corrosion needs to amp up for sure. Any chance we draw, draw shot, yes. Start there. We didn't draw draw shot. It's a slap in the face. This turn's gonna suck a little bit. We're, you know what, it's not that bad. Gain one shield, end turn, we gain one more shield, retract our wings, we take one total hull damage, which also gives us an overpower for the next turn. Now this time, it'd be nice to get some stuns out there. You take extra damage too, so get ready to eat this, Wemby. Extra battery. Draw shot. Draw shot will stun though. Oh, but I don't have the evasion. Is corrosion beam an attack? It's not. I want to stun! Lebowski, I want to stun! It's, they do take extra damage here, but... I got like evasive shot. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, evade then draw. With what evasion? With what evasion, Fruggles? With what evasion? Why did I have the bowl, Bart? Acid evade, move one. But that acid is not an attack. It does, it's not an attack. It's a, I don't know what to call it. It's a skill. To whom, Ben? Aquaman? So true, though. Okay, let me think about this for a second. We have four energy, that's a lot. I'd prefer not to die this turn, personally. That's just me. I guess we're doing extra damage as well. We're gonna need an evasive shot. Any chance, for, you know what, we could, we could, quick thinking. Whiplash. Whiplash seems quite helpful, but then we're gonna have one energy left. Mm. <laughs> Whiplash saves three damage. That seems worth playing. Rather than save one energy, I think you gotta hit him with that, move one to the side, take four. Not ideal, don't get me wrong. And now, maybe we've learned our lesson to focus a little bit more on, on movement. But this is also not like the right situation. Cause I'm like, I can, I can move myself two and two. 
I still got five coming in. <laughs> Unless I could somehow stun you as well. I think I gotta wait for your corrosion to tick up. I can't go for lethal yet. Ah, okay. Multi shot. Stuns you. Whiplash does damage. You save one energy. Technically, you save two. We take none damage because of wings retracting. Had to be done. Take extra damage. Surely I can kill you this turn. Surely. Next attack stuns, none evasion. Okay, well, you, you know what you could do. Hang on. Options. Move. Stun. Remove your wings. You've exploded. Okay. That was scary, though. Max shields raised by one, shield one. Attack for zero each time this card is drawn per turn. Per fight, add two, but it gets exhausted. Or instantly move three spaces in a random direction and also evades. Gives, gives you six evade. Bro, we need that. Especially because it'll refund. Draw two extra cards on the first turn. Every fourth turn, gain overdrive. When you shoot an incoming missile, turn it around instead of destroying. I want the two extra cards, but the missile one is quite tempting. Crab ship! What have you done to me? Quick thinking. Gave us extra energy. Hand cannon does 16 damage and refunds in energy. Hard for me to say no to that one. And then honestly, I mean, I think you just go straight for a... We might as well at least put one corrosion on you. It's going to help. Missile with a bubble shield. It can take one hit without being destroyed. Me and my sophomore year of college. I think you want... I'm thinking, okay? And what, it does two damage? Shoots a two damage shot once per turn. I think you can just play this, get the heck out of town. I gotta use like 17 moves to get where I wanna go though. Oh, two, three, four, five, six, okay. <laughs> At least the multi shot stuns you so you don't shoot another one and then we'll end turn. Oh, why did I think that you hadn't popped yet? What's wrong with me? Okay, we just got our extra energy. He could have... Oh, you're right. If I just let him go, he would have come to me instead. True. Well, this is a great situation to just preserve your... Preserve one energy. So I'm thinking it's Acid Cannon A. Evasive Shot. You might as well. Quick Thinking. Extra Battery. Options A. Lots of great stuff going on there next turn. End turn with one energy. Take none damage. You're in a real rough spot. How about Acid Cannon A? It would be nice to heal before the boss, though. Stun shot. Zero damage, stun, and gain a stun charge. Interesting. Draw one card of each color from the exhaust pile. Draw one, draw one card of each color from the exhaust pile. What, what do we got in this? Hand cannon B exhaust, but that's not really like a win condition for me. Extra battery exhaust. Hand cannon B exhaust. And corrosion beam. I mean, what's great is that you get the battery and the hand cannon back on the same turn. But it costs you one energy to use second opinion, which probably takes you down to two. Then extra battery takes you up to four. Hand cannon. You know what? That seems like playing that once is, is really good. Please heal me. 
Repair eight hull. Hey! Final boss? Is this our final waypoint? It is. The cobalt embedded is the cobalt is embedded in that singularity. This is our this is our Doctor Strange moment, the first time we've ever been here. Okay, a little spooky. Let's think this through. Not the right turn to draw second opinions, probably. Draw shot is free. <clears throat> but you gotta make sure it's what you want. It's a great turn to save one energy. But I'm hidden vapor here. <laughs> so I can't just drop something without moving. If we move to the left, it's still a great turn to save one energy. Even I understand you're taking extra damage there, but... So why don't we move to the left? Hand Cannon B. It's good damage. Gives us an energy in return. Draw 2 gives us an energy. And then, end turn. And we take technically 0. Love to see that. Now you're going to give me some trash that is very difficult for us to avoid. Understandable. Now it would be very good to start getting some corrosion going here. Which I think is very doable. Lunge is going to move you too. Which is very unfortunate. Well, I think we want Acid Cannon. We want the corrosion. We gotta move out of town, though. It's true. It's true, we gotta move out of town. Three energy, quick thinking. I was hoping to just get an attack. Two to the... It, it hits vapor. No matter what, it's hitting vapor, bro! Because corrosion beam is not an attack. It's, it's completely vaporous. Lunge. Lunge to the right end turn. This is the way. You take one hull damage. No, you take zero. Four energy. Trash in hand. Not happy to see that. More corrosion must be done. I could stun you. Do I care for stunning you? I'd, I'd rather stun you, but I don't want to use evasion for no reason. We have one evasion. You move to the side. You save your energy. There you go. The Wings Artifact was amazing. I thought that it was going to be like a meme, but it is definitely not a meme. You take less damage, but it, it does seem like a great turn for Second Opinions B. We do also get like a free... It's a, it's a thinking man's turn here. At some point, we're going to want to be one to the right and have one energy left. Or two to the... Well, actually, one to the right goes crazy. This is free. Whiplash could move you two to the right. Two to the left. Shoot, one to the right. I don't really want to be there. Two to the right, shoot. I mean, two to the, two to the right is okay. What about two to, two to the right, shoot, one to the left is like where we want to be. But then we wouldn't... Let me think about Second Opinions B for a second. If I place... We gotta, it's rubber duck debugging. Second Opinions B... Takes us to two energy. We draw battery and hand cannon. Battery takes us to four. Hand cannon attacks and then takes us to two. And then we can use one energy to play this. Do damage, be in a good spot, 
and have energy to retract our wings. It's the greatest turn ever invented in card game history. Ideally, we want to, you gotta, you gotta work from the end. Start with the end in mind. <laughs> we need one evasion to move one to the left, or we need to end up being one turn, uh, one tile to the left many ways we can get that and by many I mean probably we would just play scramble and let corrosion damage do oh but you're gonna put trash in my hand which sucks I gotta think about it um yeah I guess Vamos is good enough plus you get one energy in return anyway plus it put me like basically where I wanted to be go here this is free Oh, but I don't really want to draw right now. I'd rather get the extra energy next turn. Yeah, okay. Well, then in that case, just chill. And we got five evade ready at our leisure. It's a great opportunity for a multi shot. Holy cow. You're stunned. We're taking two, which honestly we might say is, is a small price to pay. Both of these whiplashes suck bigly. I would honestly, I would drop a corrosion beam on you to accelerate the process. I would play the trash and I would accept losing two shield. Doesn't bother me at all. And we've still got so much evasion left for the future. Literally, we could just go in on him. We don't need to take any damage. Like, we'll, we'll lose one shield, but we don't have to move unless we want to. It's free. Although all of my attacks also move me, which is very annoying. <laughs> it was good for a while, and now it's starting to piss me off. I mean, I'm, I'm not sweating the missiles at all. I think you play, like, momentum, trash end turn what do we care we get to save our evasion they're taking damage over time we're not in this situation i'm a simple man i think you play a draw shot then you play an acid cannon to stun them and then you accept losing two shield to get the corrosion damage higher like it's it's over you can't do anything We take one damage if we save one energy. Actually, we take none damage for a multitude of different reasons. Maybe there's a phase two, okay? It's anything's possible. <laughs> we could have, it didn't matter if they had a thousand HP. What's happening? Systems report, the cobalt went critical. We're exposed to the core singularity. We can't sustain this. The hull is melting. Come on, man, we beat the cobalt. What else are we supposed to do? Me when I'm in the Binding of Isaac 1v1 racing tournament. And then I find out that I'm way too punny is the actual final boss. Hello, broken ones. Your poor shattered time streams. I can help you, but there are other souls tangled in this time knot. Do you mean Isaac? Isaac and Max, and two others. Now, who shall I repair first? Perry. I don't trust this. I know. If you don't let my crew out of this loop, I will find a way to kill you. You would be unable. Why is he talking like origin? Memory one. Hi, Hyperia. Call me Perry. I'm Max, computer guy. <laughs> you come highly recommended. Dizzy said you were the best. He did? Yeah, you just missed him. He's already on board. Give me a card. Give me a card. Victory! <laughs> He's the best to ever do it. 
Look at that. One hour, 36 minutes, 108 turns. There's your seed. There's your difficulty. There's your progress. New character on the Isaac. His cards create a manipulate mid-row objects like drones and missiles. All right, let me hit you with a slash marker there. I think we go again 